Good morning. Today is the 13th of June, and I would like to read with you in Romans chapter 8, verse 4. In order that the righteous requirements of the law might be fully met in us, who do not live according to the sinful nature, but according to the Spirit. We live according to the Spirit. We saw in chapter 7, where Paul talks about the law, how the law is perfect, God's law is good, but we cannot accomplish it by ourselves. And in that chapter, he only he talks about the Holy Spirit only once, in chapter six, 7, verse 6. And then at the end of that chapter, he, he, he cries out as if he was representing the whole human um, humanity and says that we are wretched because who can rescue us, rescue us, us from uh, the, the body of that death, um, of death, the body of death? We are completely lost because we are, we are facing judgment because we, we know the God's law, we see it, we, we, we heard about it, we can see it everywhere in our, around us, but we cannot uh, accomplish it. There is nothing wrong with the law, but there's lots of, there was a lot of things wrong with our heart. So we, can, we could not accomplish God's holy law. So the good news of grace given us by, by God here is that God has sent his son to justify us. And then he sent his spirit to purify us, to sanctify us, so we can walk with him now. Before we couldn't walk with God, but now we can because we have his spirit in our hearts. And the promise to purify us and to, to give us God's spirit comes from the prophet uh, Ezekiel, chapter uh, 36 and verse 25. I will sprinkle clean water on you and we will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart, and I'll put my, a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone, and I'll give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you, and move you to follow my decrees, and be careful to keep my laws. We, will, uh, we are able now, if we have got God's spirit, we are able to accomplish his law, to, to follow his decrees. Because he has given us as his spirit. It's a promise that was given us through these prophets many centuries before the birth of Christ in this world. I will put my spirit in you. He will, he will cleanse us and then he will get, we'll get rid of all our, our, our idols and then we'll be able to follow him because his law will be in our hearts. His spirit will be in our heart. And if we have, have got the Spirit of the Lord in our heart, we have got His law written in our hearts. And this is also, is also uh, prophesied by the prophet Jeremiah in chapter 31, verse, verses 33. Three. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write in their heart and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. I will be their God and they will be my people. The only way we can be God's people is when he cleanses, he writes his law in our hearts and he gives us his spirit. That's the only way. You see, it's not uh, Christian living is not based on what we do but it's based on what God has already done. That's something that should be written somewhere in your Facebook or Instagram or whatever. It's all based on God's work. That's why we say it is by grace to mention at least once the word, the theme of our meditations. It's God's work. I will cleanse, he says. I will purify. I will remove what it has to be removed. I will remove the idols that you have in your hearts. 
and then I will write my law in your heart, hearts, and I will put my spirit in your hearts. And then I will be your God, and you'll be my people. That's the only way we can be God's people. It's when he does all these wonderful things in, our, in us, inside us, you see? We couldn't, we couldn't um, accomplish God's law. We couldn't uh, follow his decrees. But now we can. That's why he's saying in Romans chapter 8, verse 4, that now we walk by the Spirit. God the Father sent God the Son to justify us, and then he sent God the Holy Spirit to purify us, to follow, to walk with us, to make us holy. And just before we say goodbye, I would like to read in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. 2, 3, 3. You show that you are a letter from God, from Christ, the result of our ministry, the result of the preaching of the gospel, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tables of stones, on tablets, sorry, of stones, but on tablets of human hearts. We are a letter of, of Christ. Now, because God has written his laws in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And he's saying here that God is the living God. And now we have eternal life in us, life that comes from the living God. And we walk by the Spirit. That's the, the way Paul describes the Christian, the Christian life. To be a Christian is to walk by the Spirit. To be a Christian is to be purified by God's Spirit in us. God's Spirit is in us. So may God bless us this weekend. And may He help us to, to, to let the Spirit guide us now in, our, in this new way of living. It's the best way that is taking us into heaven and it, that has brought into our hearts eternal life. God bless you.